Well, another 10 presidential hopefuls took to the debate stage last night on NBC. Senator Kamala Harris is dominating the headlines, with many saying she showed that she is a true front runner. While former Vice President Joe Biden has been ahead in the polls, he did not shine as much as expected. If you didn't watch, don't worry. We got some key moments. Check them out. I was six years old when a presidential candidate came to the California Democratic Convention and said, it's time to pass the torch to a new generation of Americans. That candidate was then Senator Joe Biden. Joe Biden was right when he said it was time to pass the torch to a new generation of Americans 32 years ago. He's still right today. I'm still holding on to that torch. I'm so sorry. We will let all of you speak. Senator, Senator Harris. Harris. Senator Harris. For 30 years. Senator Harris. For 30 years. We will let you all speak. Senator Harris. You can't afford to wait for evolution on these issues. Hey, guys, you know what? America does not want to witness a food fight. They want to know how we're going to put food on their table. Yes. Yes, girl, the internet is going crazy over that moment you just saw with Harris, but not everyone is a fan. Senator Lindsey Graham tweets two nights in, this is becoming President Trump's election to lose. Democrats are on the path to making Trump look like George Washington. The more they talk, the better he looks. Hashtag four terms. And Senator Ted Cruz tweets, occasionally facts matter, but not on the 2020 Dem debate stage. Well, the headlines from today are all Kamala Harris. Yeah. What spoke to you about Kamala last night? I mean, so much. First of all, the food on the table comment, I think that it speaks to a bigger thing that Americans are going to get back to kitchen table politics. What people talk about at their kitchen table, what they want for their kids. And also just that, I mean, we have to talk about the, the segregation uh, busing situation. And uh, I don't know if we have that uh, ready to go, but we have the clip. All right, Leah, let's run that really quickly. You know, there was a little girl in California who was part of the second class to integrate her public schools. And she was bused to school every day. And that little girl was me. Well, and, and that's her tweet. We have this tweet right here. And I think what Biden didn't anticipate and what his, his people didn't anticipate is like he is a part of history. When you've been around a long time, it's an advantage when people know you. But also, you've, hey, you have a history now. And what he did is he is not running away from his history. And she caught him up big time. And he was really speechless. And I think she really kind of catapulted herself to the top of the class with too. that comment. I do too. I think he's going to have to atone for a lot of his uh, previous policies. A lot. Policies. Anita Hill, everything. Before we move on, uh, absolutely. Before we, we move on, anything that shocked yeah, you? Yeah, you know, I thought it was great. I watched it. I did have a glass of wine, which made it a little more enjoyable. But uh, <laughs> I, As I, one I does. hearing everyone's policies. I just hate when they're like, okay, you have 30 seconds. You're like, I hate that Trump is doing this and Trump's this guy and Trump's... No we know what's going on. Tell me what you're going to do better. That's the only thing I didn't like when they started with Trump and bashing Trump. You and then, hear their policy. Then, they wanted, then they wanted that round of applause, and then they started getting their policy, and they're like, move on. It's like, just tell me what you're going to do to be better. I don't need to know the negative. Just tell me what you're going to do positive. Fair enough. Yeah. I don't think you're alone. Uh, right in, DBL Nation, we want to hear from you as well.